what's going on everyone welcome back again for another video so guys in this particular video we are going to discuss how to install five on, on a different partition drive the reason why i want to do it is because i have a solid state drive you know right now it's 500 gigs because that's what i can finally afford but yet when it comes to all my games it's on a second partition drive which is my data drive that's a external usb drive until you know i can financially afford you know that one terabyte solid state drive now i know you guys are probably saying look one terabyte solid state drive is very affordable yes to your budget but you know to me i'm a, I'm a father of three i'm a hard working man and you know i got mortgage and stuff so i got stuff to pay uh, however, if you guys got the money, hey, look out for your boy. You know, you can cash at me. You can send me some money on PayPal. You know, I truly appreciate it. What I want to do is basically I want to install five of them onto a different partition, not the C partition, which is the operating system partition, which is the operating system is being driven by a 500 solid state drive. And the reason being is because I want the read and write to be only for the operating system in the operating system programs um, what I've found is with five of them being you know players can customize a lot you know with their vehicles with the players uh, let's just say uh, it's very data crunching at least to say and also it goes against my law C drive is for operating system and operating system programs all your gaming and personal data should be on a second drive that's called data or games or whatever you want to name it but it should not be on C partition hey guys so I forgot to mention guys that before you proceed with this reinstallation of 5m to a new disk space if you have your GTA installed on your C partition which is the primary operating system hard drive which you should also do for the optimum gaming performance for GTA and 5M so what you need to do is you need to also move GTA installation to the same disk space where you're moving 5M so guys at the time I was recording you know the video that you guys are about to see I basically had installed 5M to this F drive, which the F drive is named as primary drive, okay? That's a USB drive. An easy way to kind of be able to see what is a USB drive from a solid state drive from a hard drive is if you right click on a taskbar, select task manager, and you go to performance. So we want to, yep, there we go, we highlighted F drive. And as you can see, type USB. So at the time, you know, that I recorded the video, I moved 5M to the F drive. I also did the same thing to GTA. I moved it to the F drive, which I'll tell you, a GTA install, man. Woo. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, so I did that for a moment. But then I was like, you know what? Amazon's got a good deal on a solid state drive. It's a, it's only, it was only a terabyte solid state drive. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm just... I'm just grab it because it was on sale so what I did is after I recorded the video I moved everything to this G where is she here it goes so this G drive so you can see G drive is called I named it as gaming so that's where I have all my games now installed a uh, primary reason why you want to save all your games to a solid state drive and not USB drive is because what I ended up finding out is when I had it on the USB drive, uh, I seen that my read and write speed was only 100 megabytes. But the thing about it though is that the USB hard drive, it has this limitation. So it's gonna be selective as to how much read and write speed it wants to dedicate. You know, I could be playing GTA and the USB drive says, nah, I'm not gonna give you that much, you know, read and write speed because I'm, you know, dedicated to some other resources. So you're going to see lags in the game of GTA. You're going to get that uh, frame drops. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of performance issues. The solid state drive, it has a 500, 500 megabytes 
uh, read speed and write speed. So, you know, just to let you guys know, technically, uh, when you're playing the game, your hard disk is reading, and when it's saving, it's writing. So, it, read and write. It's highly important. Highly important. In summary, put your GTA and 5M on a solid state drive. Again, I'm gonna I'm go over the process of you know installing 5M, but I won't show you how to you know move GTA because I already did it. But I'm gonna somewhat provide an example, like a quick example. Okay, basically, say we have GTA on a C drive, okay, and we want to move it over. Now, what you guys want to do? We got GTA here. You're gonna right click and select Open File Location. All right, right here, and now. You know, I already moved it to a solid state drive, which is G. But for you, it's going to say C, okay? So what you want to do is you want to double back and double back again. Hit this up arrow. So for you guys, the file location should say C program files. And then what you're going to do is right click on Rockstar Games and select copy. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the actual disk drive that you want to install gta such as my disk is going to be you know p and this is just an example and then we're going to go to program files and then i'm going to right click and select paste and that basically guys uh copied over our rockstar folder to our new drive which is the p drive all right so now after you copy the data over, what you want to do is you hit the Windows key and type program or you can for Windows 10 you can just type pro P R O and that's gonna bring up add in remove programs. You want to uninstall everything that says GTA V. Alright? So more than likely if you hit this one uninstall, it should uninstall this one as well. Also, if there's anything else that reference GTA locations such as Rockstar Game Launcher and Rockstar Games Social Club, you want to uninstall it as well. So uninstall everything that's from GTA and Rockstar. So now what you want to do guys is restart your computer and then reinstall GTA. But before you reinstall GTA, you want to select the new location but yeah guys if anybody wants to know exactly which solid state drive that i'm currently using it is the western digital blue this is the solid state drive that i currently have installed into my gaming rig again it's a uh, one terabyte all right guys so i'm gonna let this video roll please don't forget that if you have questions please ask questions and i'll respond and also don't forget guys hit that subscribe button because we got more more gaming tech support coming for you guys because i know you guys need that and for anybody that's looking for my automotive repair videos you know as the weather gets warmer we'll drop some more videos for that too so stay tuned guys i haven't forgot about you guys so as you guys can see, this is my 500 gigs C solid state drive. It's got some other stuff going in there. Of course, you know, Windows is gonna put a good load. Windows 10 is gonna put a good load on your uh, disk utilization, you know, but you can always switch it up. As you guys can see, we got a drive that's called D for data. That's not what we're gonna put on. We're gonna actually put it on that F drive, which that F drive is for all of my programs, my games, uh, all of the games that you see here, American Truck Racing, um, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, this is also on here. If I right click and open file location, as you can see, it's it's on a primary partition. So, if I right click on 5M and open file location, as you guys can see, it's on the C partition. I don't want that. And let me show you also something too. If we right click on 5M select properties, as you can see, it's utilizing over 37 gigs. So we can cut that out. I hit the Windows key and I'm going to type programs, add and remove. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall 5M. Before I do that, I want to right click, open file location, I'm going to back out so that way we can just monitor this. I'm going to minimize this and now we're going to go back to here because what I want to do is ensure that it removed it. So we're going to hit yes, give it some time. It says it's deleting 30 something gigs. All right. So another thing that you guys may have noticed is the 5M is gone from there. If we move down to here, 5M is no longer here. So what I'm going to do is I want to see if there's a way that I can kind of control 5M to download into this partition. So what I'm going to do is select new folder and just do 5M, 5M client. All right, we'll just, we'll just name it that, okay? So what we're going to do, we're just going to try this for Microsoft Edge because I believe Microsoft Edge should allow me to select where to save that download. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try that and see if Microsoft, my, to see if Microsoft Edge will say, hey, where do you want to download this to? So let's see. We already downloaded the file and it downloaded to the C partition. Instead, what I'm going to do is right click, select save link as. And now what we're going to do is go to F drive. Okay, I went to F drive and where's my 5 and 5 and client open and save there. So bam, now it's saved there. Now what we're going to do is see if now if 5M will install here and not our C partition. Okay, so this is looking good thus far because I don't see the 5M icon on the desktop, which that will automatically populate if it was installing on the C partition. So that's looking good. It's looking real good. It, you know, even though some of you guys may say, hey, I want to see that. But yeah, that's that's actually looking pretty good. So so now we're at the part of the installation where it wants us to select GTA. OK, and as I said before, GTA is saved on the F partition as well. So we're going to browse out. Folder says GTA V, and we're going to select folder and see if that will give us a nice happy face. OK, cool, cool, cool. So that's that's looking good. That's looking good. And thus far, from just looking at the screen right here, this is showing me that in our F partition, 5M is installing. Let's right click and select properties. OK. So it's still looking good. 5M needs to update game cache. Uh, the local FM game cache is outdated and needs to be OK. So let's select yes. Oh my goodness. It doesn't matter if it's 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Eee. Whenever I'm on, on a uh, camera. I always get this, this yawn effect. Starting 5M. Okay. 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 Big shots. Let's see. Yeah, we want to allow access and see if we can get that before 5M starts. And there we go. 5M is here. So now let me select play and let's see if it. I highly d doubt that it remembers all of the service that I've played before. Highly doubt that. So let's go ahead and do favorites. Yeah, okay, it's cleared out, which is good. History cleared out, which is good, which is real good. We got five of them installed, but I don't see the desktop icon. Okay, okay, no worries. Right click on 5M, okay. Send to create desktop shortcut. Bam, there you go. You got yourself a 5M desktop shortcut. And now when we click on this, it's going to launch 5M. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install 5M on a different partition. Somewhat tricky, um, but it's honestly not that tricky. Basically, the 5M installation goes off of the actual partition you download the setup file. <laughs> so you just got to kind of trick it around. 
um, download five of them to a different partition and then launch the setup and it'll launch from there. So guys, um, again, the true benefit of doing so is to not only free up this space because you know after you play server the server um five of them is going to get up there in gigs um, prior before it was like 30 something gigs and i've seen it like up to 50 or so so by saving it on a different partition you save this space from your uh, c partition which should be you know operating system and operating system programs that way you don't prematurely uh put you know a hinder to the lifespan of your primary partition drive so without further ado um you know i'm just trying to bring attention to this particular gaming channel of which you know that's why i'm posting these videos here um, i could post it here and just dramatically you know boost this channel you know furthermore but I really would like to get into some game content but we'll see you know we'll see you know if time permits i'm always on the time time constraint you know working working full time baby anyway guys hopefully guys this video has been helpful to you guys i am about to get off and get into some quick gaming before you know it's like three o'clock in the morning so peace <laughs>